it's me! Now, I know what you're thinking. Um, Winter, weren't you just editing like the third draft of Notes from a Wicked Child? And by the title of this video, like, mm. Concerned citizen, you are right. Also, please ignore the um, severe burn on my finger that happened whilst I was trying to take my French bread pizza out of my toaster oven. <laughs> it's been a week. <laughs> but yeah, so going through what's happened between the last time you saw me and now. So, finished the third draft, editing and all that stuff, and I realized that in order to continue with the editing process, I needed to get a physical um, copy of the book just because of the sheer amount of interior formatting that is going into this thing. Never before have I like delved this far into interior formatting and I've never used white pages before, I've never inserted pictures before, I've never made my manuscript size with the bleed um meaning that all of like my pages i had to make slightly bigger so that they will be cut down to the correct size <sighs> i haven't done any of that stuff before so i knew that the earlier i could get a physical copy of my book to continue editing and tweaking um the better considering i do want to get this thing out by um what january i think i said like i definitely want to have it done by the end of this year and then um, we'll be releasing it sometime next year. So that being said, what I'm about to take out of this package is not going to be the final product. It is not my final proof. Um, so I won't be doing my full like KDP review or whatever um, like I do with all my other books. Um, that being said, you also might be wondering, um, Winter, don't you usually like make a video about how you make your book cover before you do an unboxing? Concerned Citizen, you are so observant. I love it. So, because this is not the actual final proof, um, this cover I kind of just threw together a little bit. To be fair, I did sort of implement the idea that I've been toying around with in my head the past couple months. But upon completing it, I am not 100% sold on the cover or the title font or anything. Um, however, I did record the process of me making it, which I figured I would just tack on to the end of this video since this isn't like my full, you know, final proof unboxing or anything like that. So I didn't want to, you know, make a whole video of it just because it is pretty short because it's really a simple cover. So I'm like nervous. Oh my God. Okay. Can we, can we get into it? I'm sorry for blabbing. I still wanted to make this video just because... I mean, this is the first time I'm going to be holding this book in my hands, even though it's not the final version. It's still like, there's so many firsts for this book that... <sighs> I'm so nervous. I've never been more nervous for a um, interior. Okay. Again, I opened it on the wrong side, so no spine shot. It feels good. That cover though. My god. Oh, I actually really like it. Holy crap. Ah. Why am I like so excited? <laughs> okay, so the cover. Again, this is not the final cover. Let's see, will you focus? Yeah. So there's that. It's about this thick. And then this side. And then um, the back. So, here's the thing. I'm scared to open it, so I'm not going to open it just yet, but... Um, so, the back here, I've decided that I don't... I probably won't be putting a blurb on the back just because okay here's my thought process can we focus on me again please thank you all of my books are sold through Amazon and um, KDP and like barnesandnoble.com they're all like online sellers and none of my books are gonna be or at least I don't think they will be in like this like format and stuff um, in bookstores or like stores in general so my thought process is why do I keep putting blurbs on the back of my books when the blurbs appear on the website you know what I mean like and I feel like the only people like really buying my books are you guys who like follow me and actually know about this stuff 
So I feel like, you know, you just kind of get like what it's about anyways as we go on with these videos. So yeah, for this, I think I'm just gonna put a um, poem on the back, like from like, you know, the book and the actual like blurby part will be online, like on its page or whatever. So yeah, okay. Oh God, I'm, <laughs> I'm scared for the inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks okay. Oh my god. It looks more than okay. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. My sketches. Oh wait, where's the big... <gasps> Ooh. Wait, where's the big one? Mm. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, hands down. Page 87 my favorite page of the whole book. I was so scared for this page. Like you have no idea. And I'm not even gonna show it to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is wild, dog. <gasps> oh, that looks so good. I'm, I'm like shaking. Like I, I am freaking out. Like this is, I was so scared. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I think I will show you this one just because I've shown this picture before. How do I show this without, cause I don't wanna like give away like the whole book. <laughs> Look at that. Guys, this is, <laughs> this is way better than I could have imagined. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <sighs> I'm so relieved. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I need a moment to hold on. <laughs> okay. I'm back, a little bit more composed. Um, I'm so incredibly happy with how this looks. I, I don't think, I'm trying to think like for Thick as Blood and The Scum at the End of the Road, the first proof copies were like, like the first time I got the proof, there was always something I wanted to tweak and change, like whether it was the margins or the page numbering or um, like for the scum at the end of the road, I had this weird sort of issue with exporting to like a PDF or whatever. And like, I could not figure it out for the life of me, but this is like almost perfect. Like right now, what I'm really focused on is just reading through and making sure like all the, um, little, <clears throat> I guess we call them like line edits, um, or okay. It's kind of hard to like line edit a poetry book. But, um, basically I'm just looking for little tiny errors that are easy for me to overmiss. Um, I might change, like, one thing. Like, I might change one thing on the inside. But everything looks... <laughs> like, I'm... Oh my god. <sighs> and yeah, like, even just, like, reading through and seeing it all as a whole, like, I'm not hating the cover as much as I thought I was. Like, this might actually work. I don't know yet. I, I, I need to, like brainstorm but yeah like guys okay I'm gonna stop blabbering on um if you want to see how I created the cover just keep watching I'm gonna insert um that footage now and I just want to thank you so much um even if like poetry isn't your thing and even if you know you think I can't write or um you're just not like interested in like the stuff like I write about or whatever like that's fine but to even still just watch my journey and to um, leave nice comments and, and likes and um, subscribe, like, it, it means a lot, you know? It means that people are listening and even though that's not really why, you know, that's not like my main goal for this, you know, I've always said from the beginning that I, I write for me and even now, like with this almost done, I'm already thinking about my next project and I'm excited to get into that, you know? For me, it's like the journey of creating something like this is way more satisfactory than like the outcome. Um, even though this is like pretty sweet and I'm really excited. And if you do like poetry, I hope this doesn't disappoint you if you're ever considering getting it. So like I said, this isn't gonna be like a full on review. Um, I'm gonna wait until I get my final proof until I'm like done done with everything to really go in depth like I do. So for now, I'm just gonna leave you with this. Thank you so much for watching. I feel so much better than I did like 10 minutes ago. I was so nervous. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling so good about this. I was so scared. Okay, 
I'm gonna stop doing this now and um, go and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day, but um. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being weird.